So temperatures are dropping and that means sweater weather or in this case it means hoodie weather. In this video I'm going to review two pieces of fall cycling gear from the brand Kettle. Find out what I like and dislike about them in this video. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers and if you're new to the channel, if you love bikes and bike culture and aren't into the whole arrow is everything thing, basically the supple life, then you have found your people consider hitting that subscribe button. So a couple weeks ago, the brand Kettle sent over two pieces from their fall cycling line and uh, Laura and I have been both riding in them. She's gonna do a review of the women's versions uh, next week and this is my review for their men's stuff. The first piece is this hoodie. It's a nice uh, kind of fall season rust color and it's made from 94% uh, polyester with 6% spandex. Fair amount of give and stretch. It's got a big uh, front zipper closure. Uh, the men's version has this chest pocket and there are two hand warmer pockets on the side. The interior has this nice soft hand and it's uh, baffled and does a really great job at keeping you warm, but also wicking some of the sweat away. In a lot of ways, it's really re reminiscent of some of the Patagonia Capilene material. In terms of what makes this cycling specific, for me at least, it's got really long sleeves, so full coverage on the arms when you're on drops, on the tops, wherever. This hoodie also has a kind of raglan sleeve, so it has a lot of flexibility and isn't very restricting at all. Another nice cycling specific feature is the hoodie itself is fairly close fitting. There's a uh, zipper garage here, so it won't bite your neck. And it fits great under a helmet. So in truly cold conditions, uh, you can cover up the back of your neck, the top of your head, and your ears. So a great piece for when things get really cold. Another cycling specific feature is that the front end is cut a little bit shorter. So if you're uh, leaning over riding your bike, it's not bunching up in the front which works uh, great for, for riding, but looks a little bit funny in casual use. So I've been riding with the hoodie for the last couple of weeks. I found that I really like it uh, as a replacement to a long sleeve winter jersey. So as those temperatures dip, uh, you know, below the 40s and into the 30s, this makes a great piece when combined with a base layer. Of course, you can also wear it casually with just like a t-shirt, especially a supple t-shirt. So there's a lot to like about this hoodie, but there are a few things that I don't like. One specifically is I wish there was a zippered pocket in the back, just really discreet uh, game style pocket or just a single uh, jersey style pocket with a zipper that hides away. And they don't have that for the men's version. Interestingly enough, uh, the women's version does have it. Laura will talk about that in her review video, but the men instead got a uh, chest pocket, which is fine. It's good for a small fly box or to warm up your camera batteries, but I would easily trade this pocket for something in the back because then you could carry a uh, lightweight wind layer and you'd have all your bases covered for a fall ride. Another dislike is kind of the shorter front cut. It's reminiscent of uh, Shower's Pass cycling jackets. I know it serves a function, but in casual use, it just feels like, you know, you've got a midriff thing going on sometimes. My experience with the kettle stuff uh, in general, everything is a little bit on the slimmer side. So if you do want uh, a looser fit or you plan to layer more beneath this, then definitely consider sizing up. That said, because of the uh, nice cut and the stretchiness, it does make a great layering piece uh, beneath a hard shell. All right, so that's it for the jersey. Let's talk about the pants. So initially the pants weren't something I was super thrilled about uh, because I tend to usually not ride in pants. However, uh, after putting them on, um, I've been pretty impressed with them. The pants are really lightweight, so they're not thick and bulky uh, like a actual rain pant. I think these would do okay maybe in a very slight drizzle, but these aren't meant uh, for when it's completely pouring down. The material is synthetic. It's A6% nylon and 14% elastane. I'm not sure what that is exactly. It's fairly stretchy, not overly so. There is some give to the material, but it does uh, kind of come back to its original shape. The pants has belt loops, but also a uh, Velcro strap that, that help you kind of adjust the uh, waist size in general. In terms of pockets, this has two uh, side pockets and one zippered pocket in the back. A uh, good place to keep your wallet, some cash or your keys and it won't fall out. And the material is this gridded kind of warm uh, gray color. So perhaps my most favorite thing about this pant is the tapered leg. Being a shorter person, uh, when I buy 
camp pants or cycling pants or any pants in general, usually I have a problem with uh, the, the, the foot opening being too wide and I ha always have to cuff my pants so it doesn't run into the chain ring. But the cut of these pants, they get really narrower as they approach the foot and there are also button straps uh, at the ankle which will bring everything in nice and tight so you don't run into the chain ring. And I'm super stoked uh, about this feature. Um, you know, my initial concern was that it's gonna run long just like every other pant um, out there for me and I'm just gonna hate it, but uh, that was not the case with this pant. So I've used this pant with on top of uh, leggings and uh, leg warmers and it works great for that purpose when you just want a little bit more uh, protection from the wind and the elements. I've also worn it out casually, just bare-legged. And while it is synthetic, it's not scratchy. In fact, it kind of feels like silk pajamas in, in some way. So how do I see these pants being used? Uh, for me, uh, I see it as like a really light shell when you just want a little bit more uh, protection from the elements. It also makes a great camp pant. Let's say you're on a bike packing trip, bike touring trip, or just a car camping trip, and you want something light and airy that dries quickly and packs down really small, then these pants are for you. A lot of camp pants, you know, they tend to be these weird bell-bottom openings, but with these pants are nice and tapered. Uh, so they look good, they fit, even if you're a shorter person. Not something that I thought I would like just because I tend not to ride in pants, really. But for cycling pants, these are pretty comfortable. My only concern would be probably long-term durability. Uh, the material is fairly thin and light and airy, and it will be interesting to see how it wears or where it breaks down, but so far, so good. Let me know if you guys have any other questions about this kettle gear below, I'll try to answer that. And if you found this video helpful, consider supporting it via the PayPal and Patreon links below. It's what lets us do this and, and highlight these interesting products for you guys. And as always, keep the supple side down.